Start your habit of continuous learning today. Visit nomadphp.com. Welcome to Nomad PHP Lightning Talks. I'm Joe Ferguson. Nomad PHP Lightning Talks are 10-minute talks that give a high-level overview or an in-depth look at a small portion of a PHP-related topic. Lightning Talks are a great way for new speakers to build their speaking resume or for long-time speakers to test drive a new talk idea. If you'd like to give a 10-minute lightning talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com. Right now, we have Oliver Davies. He's going to talk about using Laravel collections outside of Laravel. Oliver, take it away. Cool. Thank you again, Joe. So, yeah, my name is Oliver, um, and I'll be talking about, what Joe said, Laravel collections outside of Laravel. Um, so, I'm a web developer primarily, um, although primarily I work with Drupal, uh, but also with other systems such as Symfony. Firelight, Laravel, and Scobin. Um, I'm quite a fan of collections once I started to learn Laravel. Um, they're a powerful object oriented way to interact with arrays. Uh, they store items within a collection object. Uh, you can then run methods against uh, these methods are chainable. Um, this makes code more readable uh, and you end up with a lot less temporary variables. Um, I've seen these use on uh, Jeffy Way, has done a video of these on Barracast, and I've also watched uh, Adam Wilder's Refactoring the Collection series. Um, but then I wanted to be able to use these collections in different PHP projects, um, such as Drupal. Um, so how do you make a collection? Um, the, collect mission, the collect function is provided for us. Uh, we can pass in uh, either an array uh, or a string or an object. Uh, and so these are then stored as objects against the collection. Once you've then got a collection, what can you do with it? So in this case, you've got a collection where you've passed an array of items, um, some are letters and some are numbers. Um, and then from there, we can run methods against the collection. So we can run count to get the number of items in the, in the collection. We can run the method call first to get the first item. Uh, if we want to be more specific, we can pass a callback uh, we can define which one is first. So in this case, we want to find the first, which is numeric. In this case, one. We can also run a method called contains. We say, does this array or the this item from this collection contain a value? Um, so no more haystack needs or legal haystack conundrums. Uh, we can pass in multiple values to contains. Uh, and also, we can run filter to remove any uh, null or false values. Or again, we can pass uh, a callback into that to, in this case, only return items greater than two, in which case we just get three and four. But also, if we've got a multi-dimensional array, like this one, we've got names, email addresses, and ages, uh, we could use something like pluck just to get one key from, the, from each array, uh, such as name. Um, because these are chainable, again, we can pluck the name and then sort them uh, alphabetically. Uh, or again, we could just do a, a filter based on, in this case, the age. We want to get people who are greater than or equal to 30, in which case we just get John. So this is great. How can I do this in my Drupal code? The common mantra of the Drupal community is there's a module for that. Uh, unfortunately, in this case, there wasn't. So I wrote one. Um, this module is for Drupal 7, um, and it integrates uh, a collection class within, within Drupal. The first version of this was my own collection class that I wrote from scratch. So I wrote my own collection and I wrote my own tests. Um, this was fine. Um, it only did roughly, I think about 70% of what Laravel's code can do. Um, so I ended up making issues like this one to continue to add more functionality. One day I found this. Um, this is the Titan code collect uh, package on packages, uh, which says, Illuminate collections as a separate package. This means we can integrate them into non Laravel projects easily without having to acquire the whole support package. This is great because then we can install it to Composer just by using uh, Composer require Titan code collect. This is awesome. Um, so I made another issue to investigate using this within my module. And then 2.0 of that module was born using the collection. Uh, the Titan code collection library. So version two uh, did not use my own collection class. It used uh, Titans or Laravel, um, which meant I had a more fully featured collection class, uh, but also 
less code to maintain. Yeah, you're open source. So what are the steps to, to pull it into a, your own project? Um, first of all, you should install Composer, if you don't have it already. Uh, require the Titan Code Collect Library. Include the Composer Autoloader in your file, and then start using collections. And that's exactly how I'm doing this, actually, with Drupal 8, uh, with its own Composer JSON file. This is the minimum amount of code needed to use a collection. So within our index.php file, we just require Composer to spend your autoload file. We get the, the collect function authorized for us, and then it can start up building collections. Uh, once you've done this, we can then just start collecting everything. Um, as I said, use this within uh, Drupal 7 using the, my module, um, Drupal 8 using its native Composer JSON file, and uh, use it in the sculpting project and in various standalone PHP libraries. Thank you very much. Thanks for joining us for another Nomad PHP Lightning Talk. If you'd like to give a Lightning Talk, please email me, joe at nomadphp.com.